Moments after Tony Harrison beat Jermel Charlo last December, one of boxing's most unexpected and bitter rivalries was born. And the animosity came when he lied and said that I said something that I didn't say. The animosity is built up because of the fact that he knows deep down in his heart, I won this fight. When the decision didn't go his way, you showed that you was a coward. And that's what you is, you a coward. That pressure for the rematch showed when you looked in my eyes, homeboy, you playing with the right one. You show Keep me any cool. Keep your cool, because you might not make it out of L.A. Keep your cool, you might not make it out of L.A. The animosity and bad blood only intensified when Harrison was injured, delaying the first shot at an epic rematch. All of a sudden, boom, comes breaking news. Tony Harrison is off this fight. The injury happened, you know, while we were training in the ring spar and a twist of my ankle. They told me I tore all the ligaments. Walk around with a boot for a little bit. Oh, that could have been all fake. I don't trust nobody. This December 21st will culminate a year of obsession and contempt that consumed both men and fanned the flames for their sequel. Say what you gotta say, homeboy. You a punk. Yeah, okay. I can't stand that man. It's theatrics for that guy. Like, just humble yourself, homeboy. I beat your ass the first time, and I'm here again. I get to show off. Jamel Charlo was once the WBC champion. The fight right here in the room. I got to check. I got enough money to take your ass. It's, yeah. it's all theatrics. This is Tony Harrison and Jermell Charlo's journey. This is their countdown. Whatever you want to do, we can do at any given moment, cuz. That's a star phone chin on you. I'm better than you, boy. You didn't do last fight. Since we started the camp, I made it mandatory that whoever comes in Jamel's life or into the door, take a ginger shot. Only because I'm trying to build him up, his immune system, I need everybody around him as well to be healthy. And everybody in the team, every three days, we take a ginger shot. For me, training so much every day and swelling the body up and taking it down, like, ill with a lot of inflammation. We've been consistent with it for over a month now. Consistent. And um, now I can actually tell, you know, at first it was like, oh man, that, that might be the ginger shots coming out. We sweat more. This is a healthy lifestyle. Bye, darling. Bye, darling. Positive vibes today. You gotta have a ginger you shot, coach. Know. You had to have one. It's ginger. Okay. It's just ginger. It may be Gloria, Tamika, Tasha. I don't care. <laughs> I'm not drinking. Why? Because I want to. Party pooper. <laughs> <laughs> Everybody's in my camp is uncomfortable right now. I'm, I left my family, my, my, my daughter, my son, my woman. My brother did the same thing with his family. My dad did the same thing with my mom. Nobody that's with me right now lives in Tampa. Everybody's uncomfortable. And that's how the dream got to work. Everybody got to put their all into making this work. Charlie probably training at home, where he's going home to his wife and his girl and his son. But my son, I kissed my son. I said, I see you when it's over, son. Daddy got to go focus right now. Go. The fight plays in my head every day. That's all I give a damn about is beating him. I was born to fight him. <laughs> the guy is a great fighter, man, but I see right through him. You know what I mean? Everything inside that man, I know for sure the wouldn't beat me. He's nothing awesome. A lot of hole in his heart. <laughs> respect. The only thing I live for every day, respect. Not no money, not no jewelry. Did he praise and appreciate? He, he's such a pretender. I'm gonna beat him every single time. Good. Yes, sir. So much animosity in me. Like, I just wanna prove the world and him what I've known in my whole life. I'm the best fighter in the division. Let's see where the head gonna go. It's a pause in between that. Jermel Charlo has been hard at work in Texas, preparing for his December 21st rematch with Tony Harrison. On tap today is 13 rounds of intense sparring. Back on that good jab. See how hard that jab is? Keep working it. <laughs> I don't even know what day of the week it is for me, for real, because I haven't stopped. 
I'm gonna keep going all the way through. 13 plus rounds. Get that with ease. Do it, I'm gonna knock your ass out with it. I got the best sparring partners because they're not afraid to punch with me. A little bit bigger than me. Make it make it a lot easier for when I fight. Put on these 10 ounce gloves. Yo, it's, it's gonna be hard to be in there with me. Yeah, you can't teach that, what? Yo. Today I was just strategizing a lot of different things and trying to see that Tony Harrison vibe and just get in the zone and just understand where I was at before and what I need to do more and do better. You got to be the customer with throwing more punches. Well, I just want a big shot. I just want one big shot. You need more punches. Dude. That's, that's what happened last time. Hey, be smooth. Hey, be smooth. Tony, Tony. That's what he needs, though. Somebody's going to come at him and challenge Okay. Pull it back with a lot of power. Going down there, I pull back with a lot of power. You don't mean nothing. What? It's a good one. It get real in there. We ain't friends in there. None of them are my friends. The halfway probably don't like me. I don't know. But it's all right. As long as we all in there getting the same objective done, get that physical work, I'm good. Charlo has always incorporated cycling into his workout routine. Today, he's joined for the first time by his trainer, Derek James, for a quick cool down after a long day at the gym. So, you're 13 rounds a day. How do you feel about that? I could give you the work. I know. It's something that I've been doing. It's something that me and my coach been incrementing into our training, and we love it. And this is what helped us get into the tip top shape that we're in. And you don't say we, because he knows I'm in shape also. So. He's always in shape. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> Derek, I feel better now. Look, Derek rolling, baby. Now watch out. I see you rolling, baby. I'm gonna be sore tonight. My legs tired. <laughs> you don't ride horses. I don't ride uh, horses, though, no. No. But, you know, one day you might. No, no, no. That's something I can't control. The bike is. You barely can control the bike, though. That's right, that's right. That's why I know I can't control the horse. I know that. I know my limitations. Yeah. This feels good out here, but it's too cold. Better drink that ginger shot Mama Joe got. I ain't drinking nothing. You got to drink the ginger, man. Yeah. Ginger only right for you. That's why I'm able to do this. We're almost home. We cool down right now. We've been going, what, 13, 14 days hard, nonstop. Today I put in 13 rounds in the gym of sparring. I got to get my title back. I won't stop cycling to running to swimming, anything. Ask me. We do it. Coach in shape. I'm in shape. We feel good, and we're going to look good. All right, what up, champ? Key. Well, I see how you make weight in that <laughs> right there, boy. Hey. I can't, can't. I'm wrapped up. You know? How you feeling, boy? Ah, oh, good, man. Shoot, I had my first, what? My first run yesterday. Just started my diet plan, because Lord knows I need it. Yeah. <laughs> Currently, Keith, one time Thurman, is recovering from hand surgery. Good to see you, man. But he's happy to play host to the Harrisons. I'm happy to see another champion up in this gym, man. Yeah, man. Okay. We appreciate the hospitality. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Anytime, man. My casa, su casa, man. I probably won't be able to hit these heavy bags for maybe about four more months. So because we're inactive right now, my trainer said it's no problem for Harrison to have this gym and utilize it. You know, they love the Florida heat. I can lose, I can lose weight just standing here. Now I remember how I made weight. Just go to, just go to the gym. Ooh, it's hot. Yeah, this mm -hmm. is good and good and toasty. Yeah. Probably like 100 degrees in there. It's hot as shit. It's muggy. So I think my body just gotta get used to the mug part of it. Inside the warm confines of his gym, Thurman gets a ringside peek into Harrison's preparation. See the bank fella, Keith? I saw that. <laughs> Not bang the hook. I saw, how you didn't, I saw how you didn't turn the jab over too, just to get in between. A little slick, a little, a little small. 
is having a championship eye. It's just to see from one champion to another what I can improve on, what I can do more of. And I mean, it's just dope, man. It's just dope. I came to St. Pete in an uncomfortable gym where champions are born. You still, you still I isolated myself with my family. Keep it out, keep it out, keep it out. Good, good. And it's did 10 rounds of sparring. Number three, extremely tough. There you go, keep it out. Taking a year off without doing anything. We take it sparring 10 times more serious. Deep breath. Sparring 10 rounds in this heat it felt like 20 rounds. But we gotta get those rounds that we haven't got for a whole year. When it's all said and done, I can look myself in the mirror and say I did everything I was supposed to do when it comes to this fight. I would do anything different. Because I'm excited to show the world why I'm the champion. way to push at the end. I think your real game plan is simple numbers. Jab, 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 jab. Because to me, that's kind of how you beat him the first time. And he's going to be focused on doing all the hurting. You got to ask yourself today, do you want to hurt him the way he wants to hurt you? And if the answer is no, box, box, box. You know what I mean? So focus on the numbers. Don't focus on the power. You got it. You got it. Uh huh. Uh huh. What are you going? What are you doing? What are you doing? What are you doing? Don't touch nothing over there. Okay, I see yeah, you. Yeah, don't touch nothing Bad over there. Don't touch nothing over there. Back in Tampa, it's all about competition for Tony Harrison, in and out of the gym. Tonight he faces off with his brother LJ for a friendly game of chess. It's day three of camp for us. We've been grinding and putting our hard work and everything, so now we want to, you know, find a way to relax ourselves, have a little fun. This kind of stuff like this makes camp fun for us. Let me see that. Uh, what am I yeah, that's doing? what I'm saying. You just, that's what I'm trying to tell you, bro. You ain't like that, bro. Stop, stop. You ain't like that. We play every day, man. It's just about strategy. It's about setting up your troops, putting them in the right position. And whoever set their troops up right is the winner of the war. That's the thing, man. That's this life. So when it comes to boxing, everything is chess. Everything is strategic. Everything has to be set up right. If you don't set it up right, you, you lose the game. Charlo, he's playing checkers. He's playing the tough man competition. Matter of fact, he's probably playing marbles. It's time, boys. What's he doing? Uh-uh, what is he doing? The, the saga continues, man. Uh, we were getting ready to, to, to do a little bowling. We get a chance to sling that rock, man. You know, I get a chance to sling. I ain't been bowling about a year, but you gonna see I got it, though. Let's go! I don't do nothing in this world to just do it. When I do it, I want to win. I'm like Denzel in the room of the time. I'm going to win. I'm, I'm going to win. <laughs> Denzel. <laughs> like Denzel. <laughs> it's time. After his victory on the chessboard, Harrison and his team head to the local bowling alley where the competition continues. There you go. I had to find it, that's all. Sometimes, sometimes when you get in that thing, you just gotta find it a little bit. Yes, sir. So you get a little low. You know what I'm saying? You gotta find it a little bit. You know what I'm mean? saying? Hey, it's like man. you gotta find it. Hey, while well, you still dancing, you still down. That's cool. You still down. He not gonna beat me. You not gonna beat me. You not gonna beat me. It's our score. You not gonna beat me, bro. I'm doing anything besides boxing, it takes my mind off boxing. When I'm playing chess, it, it takes my mind off boxing. It takes my mind off Charlo, it takes my mind off animosity. And just enjoy myself and my family. Oh, oh, oh. Itself is already hard enough. The things that we're doing, times in the morning, we're waking up to go run. You know, our bodies are beat. You just find the ways to get out and do something different. Not only it helps me, but it helps, you know, spawn partners. Yeah.
when you're doing something fun and you with all your brothers and everybody competing at it at the highest level, you have no choice but to laugh, smile, and have fun. Look at the score. Oh, Shut up. <laughs> We all know the bigger goal is just to push me. Even though it's a fun time, we can never lose focus on why we're here. You know, we're here to bust our ass, we're here to kill each other, train hard to help me beat that boy ass. That's why we're here. We ain't here for nothing else. In Los Angeles, Tony Harrison and Jermel Charlo take a day from training to appear at the press conference promoting their sequel. It's clear the past year has only increased the smoldering intensity of their hostile rivalry. Boxing is mental. I am living in his head. I got him all riled up. And um, now it's just about capitalizing now. Um, I, think, I think we put a little more pressure together, put a little more combinations together. I'm breaking him down piece by piece. He's a fraud. He ain't the real champ, and I am. I'm the real champ, and I believe that it take me to get in there and show why I'm the champion, and I get to do that on December 21st. After the first loss, he showed that that WBC belt defined him as a person. Without that belt, he was nothing. He's a lost individual, man. He lost without that belt. I have no respect for him. Tony faked that injury. Y'all will see. Y'all will see for yourself why I say that. Why I'm just gonna prove to him personally that I'm just a better athlete. There's nothing more self-gratifying to me than to just prove that I'm just better than you. I wanna get my win back. If they took from me. If they took it from me. We can fight in this room right now. Hey, what's up? I'm gonna get back. What's up? You're, you're a real you're a real do what you gotta what's do. What's up? Yeah, you do what you do, man. Man, you just talk. You all talk. I'm right here sitting down. If you standing up, what's up? I'm gonna dominate that man every second of every round. 12 rounds. What's next? Talk about your leg. That's what you need to what's talk next? about. What's next? why you in fight June 23rd. What's next? Tony Harrison is a fighter that I can beat. Tony Harrison is a fighter that I'm gonna beat. I'm gonna do it more dominantly this time. It's time to take over the division and get my belts back. It's no respect, man. Talk about that. I'm gonna, get, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna keep disrespecting, boy. Yeah. I'm gonna keep it every time I see one. I'm, I gotta I'm, keep my hey, food, man. Look. Trust me. Derrick James, throw that towel in. That's how I want it. When somebody gets dominated and they weigh that towel, they know they the lesser man. I can't do nothing with that man that night, and that's what I want to see. Use a But you fake the injury. But you fake the injury. December 24th. Well, if you enjoyed that clip, make sure you click uh, somewhere around here and subscribe from Fight Highlights to exclusive interviews. We have got everything you need as a boxing fan right here on PBC on Fox.